Hey, Jay Clark here with Rocky Mountain. We're going to give some tips on trail bags with our tools, fanny pack style, also front fender. Going to talk about all these. Uh, myself being a moto guy most of my life, uh, transitioning into more trail riding, uh, learning a lot of the things I need to have and uh, learning a lot of these the hard way when uh, stuck on the trail and having to figure a way to get back and how to deal with that. So we're going to give you some tips right now. Okay, so one of the first things that we'll talk about is the Tusk off-road uh, bag here that goes in the front fender. We mainly put all of our tire tools, so if we were to get a flat tire, uh, so a front tube, tire spoons, CO2 canisters, all those tools are in this bag. Really nice, easy deal. It can be a bit annoying to look at if you're a moto guy, not used to seeing that, uh, but not terrible. And I, I put them on my buddy's bike or the guy that's uh, you know borrowing my bike. I make him use it on his bike. So to keep this strap from moving forward, it ha these pieces right here, if you notch into your fender with a file, you can cut a little channel right here and right here, and that'll keep these in place. Really simple, small, doesn't have to be very deep, just a little bit of an area here, and that, that works to keep this from moving forward. Okay, so one of the first things you learn is that a front tube can fit in the rear or the front of your bike, so that's really all you need to carry. Um, in this case, we have a heavy-duty front tube we had in our bag. Um, if you run if you get a stock tube and maybe another 18 inch, or a stock 21 and an 18 inch, you could fit both of those in here with your tools. You could go that route as well. Okay, so for tire spoons, in this case we have lightweight aluminum Motion Pro tool. It has our 12 millimeter uh, wrench cutaway here for the uh, rim lock nut. Really nice piece. We have another one for Motion Pro also that has the rear axle nut for most of our common bikes here. We have an additional one from Tusk. And we have a 32 and a 22, which fits most of our front and rear axle nut. Okay, of course, if you have a KTM or Husqvarna, anything that's uh, out of the ordinary, the normal Japanese bikes, then you'll need to get tools specific for that. And that's one thing you'll need to learn. These fit all the bikes that we take on our trail rides. Okay, so I've made a little bag that has our CO2 canisters, um, a couple little bead buddies, got some chain master links, and a, of all the various chains that we take out, O-ring regular and for the minis, um, the filler for the CO2 cartridge, and then a couple nuts and a valve stem tool for working on our on our tires. So we keep all that in one bag. We kind of have our utility bag here of all the parts we've made up for, for tire tools to go with this. So one of the first items I've known that, uh, that you need the hard way is a toe strap. Moose has a toe strap here that I got from Rocky Mountain here. And you just pull it open and you have a, a full huge nylon toe strap that you'll be able to actually tow somebody back in the event that the bike is not going to be able to make it back on its own. My outside compartment here, I'm full of bolts and nuts. And a lot of these are custom. We ride a lot of Honda 250Xs and we have a lot of specialty bolts for those. A Kickstarter bolt, nuts, washers, there's a brake bolt, custom bolts to the Honda we have right here. So first thing when I open it up, I have some rubber gloves, some grease, uh, you know, cleaning cloths, um, seal mate, got a little leaky fork seal, spark plugs, got all this stuff accessible right here. This would be a good place for some, uh, some TP or napkins for any uh, trail incidents that you need help with. So having rubber gloves can help if you have to work on the bike in a kind of a yucky situation, but also if it gets really cold, you're stuck out in the cold, you can put them under your riding gloves, keep you warm. So wire uh, from Rocky Mountain, good item to have, a little more than you would ever need. We've actually just torn off, uh, cut off a piece here. Keep something like this in your bag, about all you need. If you use it, of course, you want to replace it in your bag. Have a front brake lever for most of the bikes we ride, a clutch lever, tape, so as we've gone through our next compartment, we have zip ties, a good amount of zip ties. We have this uh, like incredible Motion Pro tape that kind of works for a lot of things to go around a radiator hose, all kinds of things that will self-stick. You could use it in a bind for whatever you could try it for. Uh, chain breaker, we've got custom bits here for our screwdrivers. A good player of pliers uh, can be very helpful for the wiring, uh, cutting wire, being able to grab onto a nut securely. Um, a Tusk T-handle set. We have 8, 10, 12. Also, I bring a 13 for any of the KTM buddies we have out with us. Tusk has a nice multi-tool, has lots of the little Allens, small screwdriver, a lot of different bits right here that we could potentially need. We have a spoke, spoke wrench for our common sizes. 
and pipe spring puller can help us get to some uh, um, tough spots. Okay, so in our main section here we have quick aluminum, JB Weld type stuff, but this one doesn't require any extra mixing. This would be good if you had a case leak, you could lean it over, clean it off, it might be able to help you get back to camp. Um, Tusk has a nice bolt kit. We already have our bolts in there. This is something if you don't have extra bolts laying around, you can buy something like this. It has a lot of common bolts uh, for most metric bikes. So weight's an issue. You're trying to keep weight down as best you can uh, while still bringing enough tools and parts to, to get you by. Motion Pro has a nice set of wrenches, real lightweight, 8, 10, 12, 14, all the wrenches you need right there. Uh, also, little 17 for getting off the bowl off a carburetor. And then Motion Pro has a real nice little tool for getting to the pilot jet. Got somebody with a clogged pilot jet. One of the things to remember when you're doing your tool bag is you could be helping somebody else, um, which could be, uh, if you don't help them, then it's gonna ruin your day. You gotta help get them back. So if you have the parts with you, you can help get them back and thus prevent, you know, prolonging your trail riding day. Okay, so that gives you some rough ideas on ways you can pack your trail bags. Um, many more things you could bring are more survival items, you know, lighter, you want to bring your cell phone in cases, you could, you could bring those with you. Also, hydration packs are important that you're getting hydrated, and at that same time, you have additional room where you could have more survival type items if you want, uh, lighter, uh, your cell phone, your, you know, compass, those types of items could all be in your hydration pack or in your tool bag. Good items to have with you. Hopefully this gives you some good ideas of things you can work on in your own trail bag, and uh, hopefully we'll see you out in the trail soon.